Welcome back to exercise number 2 in Siemens NX. This is the latest version of Siemens. All dimensions are in inches. Now this is the simple model we are going to make in solid uh, Siemens NX. Now first we have to decide from where we are going to start. So top plane it is better option for us and uh, even though uh, we will start from here. These diameter 2 inch, 2 inch and this is 3 inch. Distance between this 8 inch, 7 inch and if you see vertical distance 3 inch and 5 inch and the there is a one more circle inside all 0.25 the gap between these two circle. Okay. So, let us draw this then you will see all gap between this 0.5. Radius you will see here R10, R7, R4. So, just note down this dimension. Here activate new, go to model, select here model and before going to cha change the unit inches. Now even though you can allocate the part name and file location. So, I am simply allocate in my desktop ok, part 1 or even though you can change exercise 0 2 ok. Now it is going to create, it will take to graphical interface or the main modeling. Now first in home tab you will see the option called sketch, click on sketch. Now it will show you top, front, right. So top is going to be choose here simply choose and here create sketch say ok, that is it. Now you will see we diverted to sketch tool. Now here first activate right uh, left click on the circle and activate and you will see here one option called uh, circle method circle input. So we will go for circle method. This is first one we will choose circle by center and diameter. So I am going to start if I move my cursor you will see 0 0 it is center of this click. Now it is asking you existing point, point on curve. So this is existing point. If, if you stop moving cursor, it will show you the diameter. So press uh, enter 2, then press enter key. Now look, now again if you move cursor here, if you stop again it will ask you diameter. So we want to keep this one 2 millimeter. So place. Now again if you move something here, Again it will ask you this time place 3 enter still you have to place so press left mouse on any point and it is placed right click ok see so go to rapid dimension and here see in rapid dimension select first object second object. Here in driving make sure you selected expression so that it will help us select this point and this point and vertical and change here 7 enter. Similarly select the center point this center point this and drag your mouse upside and place and press 8 enter. Okay, this is solved. Now again select this center point, this center point vertical. Now this is going to be 3 enter. Again select the center point of this circle. Now here it will ask you arc center, so simply choose arc center. Again select this center point. Again it is asking you arc center, say yes, arc center. Drag. 5 enter. Now close. Look, this is very important. Now again offset. Now here in offset 0 0.25 distance and select curve. So select this curve. Now it is moving outside. So simply press here see reverse direction, this cross sign. Click reverse direction. Simply choose this one, this one. 
reverse ok these two going reverse ok now simply do one thing delete this outer one again activate offset and it is moving outside from here change direction reverse ok now activate arc now we want to create arc now click this point make sure you selected the point here it will ask you arc center or point point on curve choose point on curve select this point on curve again it is asked you point on curve place something like this similarly for this again move click here and here and just drag your mouse that's it ok rapid dimension now select this one now select rapid dimension and I am going to activate this one this radius click 7 enter now this time I am going to choose this one all the operations happen by left mouse just click and press left mouse 4 enter now this time I am going to choose this one just left mouse 10 enter close now the radius are closed but there is one problem this is not fully defined so here activate tangent this one this one tangent apply select this one and this one apply tangent ok still balance this arc and select this arc apply now this is going to be perfect now this same select this circle and this arc now again it will ask you apply similarly this arc and this circle apply this arc this circle apply close now the outer one is sorted out see ok now what else 5 milli the gap distance so activate here offset 0.5 inch now let me choose this one this one and this one ok all goes inside that's happy ok it is asking you self intersecting so apply now again click look again click see both moving inside ok trim now this is important just left mouse and drag look left mouse and drag left mouse just press left mouse and drag on the line which you want to delete the simple way ok here we forget to add those lines cancel go to offset again 0.5 select this circle outward ok here already done ok now activate trim move outer one first similarly I will do here now 
is important close now look we have a closed body perfectly closed body now this is what our plan and it is created so simply finish a sketch now from here you can activate isometric view now this is checked just right somewhere click and uncheck this now here let's time to extrude and fill it now this one you will see the extrude face 2 inch then these two circles 1.5 inch then the middle one here see 1 inch then there is one depth this center one and this depth 0.5 from base all radius 0.3 see these corners now activate extrude first you have to choose first let me change boundary from here see region boundary this is what we like to keep so once this option come just move cursor over boundary and see start value 0 and end value 2 okay look here don't go okay apply again move cursor 1 2 this time i am going to change end value 1.5 enter apply again i am going to this middle one this dotted line now this is also moving start value always zero now here we selected select curve select vector also defined 1 inch enter now here in boolean it is going to let's say unite unite with which body so this is going to unite with this body even though you can change this body this body it's no matter body type solid apply now here the next make sure you selected region boundary select this region now here 0.5 inch enter end value now select body so i'll choose this body so that this is going to attach with this okay now look now if you want to hide a sketch just simply select this i button and it will hide the sketch even you can hide datum coordinate see if you click now here select age in menu if i am going to select this age inside it will show you one small window pop up bend blend see okay now here the size 0.3 inch enter now continuity keep tangent shape it is going to be circular tangent now one by one rotate your model and select all the edges see now simply press okay look isometric view so this is your model ready now let's apply color so from here i'll change feature right click on any face of the body and here see assign feature color now look from here choose a specify color okay apply and you will see we did not select this one add dependent feature again go to color apply the same color apply cancel now look so this is the simple model we created in siemens annex
आई होप यू लाइक इट डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर एंड लाइक अवर वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स इन सीमेंट्स एनएक्स एंड सॉलिड वर्क थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग